Come here, Nagito. Oh, hello. There I saw Nagito, who managed to sit up in his bed. Nagito, can you hear me? Hajime came by to see how you were doing. <gasps> twin Ibukis are singing. I see Ibuki must have been a twin duo. <gasps> the Veronicas. Is he supposed to be cured? Not this no, he's completely cured. He's just able to recover from his critical condition. <gasps> They're utilizing their characteristics as twins, and they should have been taking turns of appearing before me. Which means they are actually 17 people on this island. <laughs> Veronicus, that's the answer. After seeing this, it might have been better if he stayed quiet for just a little bit longer. <laughs> I'm glad- I'm so glad- I'm so relieved I could regain consciousness. Um, I'm not, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> somehow everything is spinning around me. Can you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? So... If you insist, I'll use the on-call room upstairs. I'll help you get some rest. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. Why? Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, no. Then even though it's in the morning, good night. Damn it. Mikan wobbled around a bit, then left the room. I have to make sure she's okay, you know? She's definitely exhausted. Well, it's understandable. I mean, she fell asleep when she was supposed to come wake me up. Uh. I'm alone with Hajime, huh? I can't stand being in the same room as you. Don't worry, I'm leaving. You should focus on curing that cure crappy disease. Uh -uh. Yeah, hurry up and go away. I don't want to see your face anymore. Okay. Bye. The morning Monokuma announcement should be starting soon. I should wait in the lobby for the transmission. No! Fuck the lobby. Huh? Surveillance camera's unit's light is blinking. That's weird, it's not transmission time yet. The light is blinking. It received some sort of transmission from the other side, right? But it's pretty early. We haven't even received the Monokuma announcement yet. Might be something urgent, though. If so, there's no way I can make them wait until the Hiku gets here. Alright, even if it's just me, I should receive the transmission. I reach my hand and press the reception button on the uh, surveillance camera unit. Oh, this is fucking dark. Huh. Upon first glance, I immediately knew it wasn't a normal video. A slowly swaying dim light is shining on the back black curtains. It felt like some sort of ritual was about to begin. Is this a light from a candle? That was the creepiest of all, was the rope hanging from the ceiling. That's a fucking noose. The end of the rope was tied in a loop, and beneath it was a step ladder. It was like a gallows. What is this? I didn't understand at all what's going on with the mu on at the music venue. I'd be sprinting over there. And that's when it happened. The moment I saw a silhouette slowly entering the frame from the other side of the screen, chills ran down my spine as if someone was dragging ice on me. A person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head. As I raised my voice in surprise, the person in the hospital gown slowly started moving and began climbing the step ladder. Fucking get over there! Slowly, slowly, they took their time climbing it. They reached over the rope and hanging from the ceiling. Are you kidding me? And at that moment, huh? the screen suddenly went pitch black, probably because the candle, the only source of light, had gone out. Hey! No matter what I said, there was no response from the darkness on the other side of the monitor. What is this? What's going on? What in the world is going on? It doesn't matter. I have to do something about it. I might still be able to make it. I need to hurry over to the music venue. I rushed out of the hospital and ran over to the music venue where the transmission was made. I'd have already been over there. Fuck off, Monokuma. Just now, that was the morning announcement. Monokuma announcement. Fuyuhiko should be arriving here shortly. No, I don't. I gotta get to the music venue. Speed running. If I could run faster. To the titty typhoon. Could have been fucking. I would have been already over there once I see that gallows set up. I'd already be gone. 
Please, please, let me make it. I rushed the music venue with a prayer in my hand. But I completely forgot. Prayer means nothing on this island. Fuck. Oh. It's definitely fucking Ibuki, though. Jesus Christ. I was too late? What the hell is this? In the hot air inside the music venue, I couldn't keep myself in shock. Hot air. Why is it so hot? This, this strange hot air doing inside the music venue. Now it's not the time to worry about it. More importantly, why isn't anybody coming? What is everyone doing? On the body discovery announcement. That's right, that hasn't been an announcement yet. That's why nobody's noticing. Then I need to hurry and let the other two. From here, the motel is close by. There should be a lot of able bodied people. I ran to the motel as fast as I could, trying desperately not to trip over my own feet. Hey, somebody, get out here! As soon as I arrived at the motel, I started shouting for help as loud as I could. So normal. I was wondering who was making such infernal racket. Uh, so it was... Gundam, something awful has happened. Don't tell me. Do you in intend to spread the pathogenic bacteria so you can take us all down with you? I won't let you. If you want to pass, you must defeat me first. Hello? What happened? Is there a problem? Fighting is not allowed. It's worse than trouble. There's a body. Wait. Huh? Didn't you hear? A body was found. Could it be? Do you intend to spread lies like Nagdo in order to confuse us all? Mata! Uh, is that true? Of course it is! Isn't it obvious? Kisono! Junk, you have seen Nagdo's condition, yes? This fiend just has the same symptoms as him. Lemme There's no way we shouldn't check it out. Is it Kazuya or Hajime is telling the truth? That means it happened again, right? Lemme Kill him? Yeah. That's true, we need to check it out. Yokaro! If that is the case, I will not stop. Leave this place to me and you, you fiends go on ahead. <laughs> no need to worry, I will catch up with you easily. I know! It sounds like famous last words. Jockey, can you go? Ooh. Yeah, it's better if we hurry, right? Leaving, let's go. Hurry it up. Sprinting over there. Ah, Hajime. Nikon, why are you here? Uh, Tommy, please help us, Hajime. Help us. Oh, oh, Hajime. Someone's coming from over there. Oh. Hajime, Jiaki. What are you guys doing here? Kihiko, why are you here too? Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for a Buki. Ah. I was planning to rest in, uh, in the on call room, but I wanted to check on everyone before I did that. And a Buki's missing from the hospital all the time. Huh? That's what Hajime was saying earlier. Everyone must hurry. Huh? Hurry where? To the music venue. Don't ask. Just follow me. Oh. Uh -huh. Is Ibuki going to be there? Yeah. I'd rather not answer that one. So. I won't ask if Ibuki be healed yet. Don't make me run too much. Nah. Is Ibuki inside there? In here. The only way to know to go is to go and try to get him. That pink body is really a good It is. Let's go. I can tell by the hair. I clenched my teeth and reached the door. What? Huh? Huh? What the heck? Why is it locked? It doesn't make sense. I mean, I was able to go through there just a few minutes ago. What are you asking? Why don't we try another entrance? Mm -hmm. Kick it down. Get the fucker down. This is the only entrance to the music venue. There isn't even a window we can go through. Why is it locked? <laughs> I don't understand it myself, but... If it won't open, the only thing we can do is force our way through. Mm. I wonder if that's going to be possible. If the four of us, two of us are girls, you know. I'm it doesn't either. matter if you can do it or not, we have to try. Uh. Let's go all charge it at the same time. Ready, set, go! At Fuyuhiko signal, we charge at the door and pull Let the door move. <laughs> Maybe it'll open easily after that. Mm. Yeah, even with two girls here. All right, one more time. Do you think he can go signal with charge at the door one more time? It was like a live performance had just ended. The moment of silence just before the audience breaks out in thunderous applause. 
In the few minutes after that silence, a scream. <laughs> Oh, God damn it. I just fucking laughed. Oh, God. There wasn't just a hanged body. There was also another body, a suspended body belonging to Yoko. Chapter 3. Trapped by the ocean sent a deadly life. He's been discovered. Two body discovery announcements in a row, that means. The hang body with the hemp bag on its own. Yoko's suspended body. Both of these bodies have been discovered at the same time. Yeah, but last time they only played one body discovery announcement, though. So, fucking errors in there, or are they just like fixing it this time? What, what is this? <laughs> Yoko and. Who the hell is that the one wearing the hemp bag? Masako. Two victims? But when I was here earlier, I didn't see Hyoka's body. I only saw that hang body. Not even ten minutes passed, but still, why? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> impossible, 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 impossible. It's impossible for killings to happen on this island. It's in there! Shut up, idiot! <laughs> now we should lower that person wearing the hip back to the ground. Leaving it like this just to say. <laughs> But what about preserving the scene of the crime? <laughs> Who the fuck cares about that? I know. There's a control panel for the baton lighting on the swing of the stage. You know where the body was at? How old? We can go random over to the wing of the stage and press the button. With the motor, I sound like a growl of the starving beast that the baton lighting swings. When it descended enough for us to reach it, we all work together to <laughs> Even though I expected it, I still didn't want to be confronted with reality. With that reality, under the hemp bag, there was no denying that the face I saw belonged to Ibuki. Damn <laughs> it! That's all my fault. If only I did better job watching over Ibuki. <laughs> You're wrong. It's not your fault, Mika. No matter how we feel, that one I felt. <laughs> Jeez, it feels like someone died in here or something. So you finally showed up the root of all evil. No, no. How dare you call your big brother the root of all evil? I even went to the trouble of bringing everyone for you. What the hell's going on here? Yuki and Hyoka. So two people have been killed? Whoa there, that's not all. I've also summoned others who are at the hospital. God damn it. Another serious incident. I was unaware. Oh, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew this disease was fun bullshit. Please, it's a horrible thing. Nagato is funny. Are you okay? Huh? Yeah, of course. <laughs> what do you mean, of course? Yeah, yeah, no. Are you talking about the despair disease? Jeez, you guys, that stuff is totally over now. <laughs> over? Oh, yeah, because I got bored. Oh, and now that the killing has started, there's no need to keep that motive around anymore. Yeah, that despair disease is gone now, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. What the heck? That's impossible. How can you spread a disease and cure it so easy? Who cares about that itty bitty, the bitty, itty bitty details? What matters is that it's already been cured. So let's get to our main topic and proceed as usual. I'll be waiting for the class trial. Do your best to investigate. this again. Damare. We have no choice. Like last time, if this means one of us killed these two, then you. we cannot let this be. <laughs> Why do we have to do this? Thinking like that won't be anything. Won't do anything. We have to do this. 
If don't do anything, we'll all be executed. Kisama wa nani o nozomu? Over dependence and, com and complaints this instant. Those have no place in this world. So what about Nekamaru? What's going to happen to him? Is he not going to participate this time? Is that even allowed? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm crying. What happened? <laughs> Looks like the lingering after effects of the despair disease. Despair disease. There's nothing for you to worry about. Tsugayo! <laughs> Everyone must focus on investigating. I must do my very best. Alrighty, I will definitely bring back Nekamaru and win everyone's trust. Seems we should leave Nekamaru to not Monome. What about guarding this area? Do we still need it? I stay. I still don't feel good yet. It's better if I stay here too, right? You should perform the autopsy again, right? Ah, and I'll leave that to you. Let's get started, so we can end this nightmare for good. That's right, we need to end this. We need to finish this once and for all. I know there's no way we can believe that one of us did, but for those two sakes, we need to find the truth, and we need to find this in this nightmare once and nightmare once and for all. Huh? Like I've been putting out for this for a while. Wait, Why is it so damn hot in here? I hate being hot. It's because your clothes are so small. Ah! I seriously can't stand it. I'll let you guys investigate this place. And so Kazuichi left the mansion in yonder. A cloud of got crumbling It really is hot. In fact, it's swelteringly hot. Swelteringly light. Hot. Why isn't this hot? No, before that, I need to check the Monaco first. There are two victims this time. Ida, Ibuki Miyoda, and Kyoko Sayonji. Doki Miyodai's uh, cause of death was a crushed windpipe as a result of choking. There are no other external injuries. Kyoko Sayonji's cause of death was blood loss to her throat being slit by sharp edged wood. Here's her death was instant. Ah! Doki Miyodai. What the? What is this it? I already knew the cause of death from the beginning. So this isn't going to be used for Monokuma file number three. Ooh. Mm. Why did the killer kill two people? Hmm? I mean, the more you kill, the more clues you leave behind, right? Huh? So I don't think it's really necessary to kill two people and take that kind of risk. I agree with that. Mm. Was there a reason they had to kill two people? Reason for killing two people. Regardless, something like this shouldn't be forgiven. So. Go ahead and check this thermostat. I can look at the thermostat. I can't look at the thermostat. Uh, it looks like 86 degrees. Oh, that is really fucking hot. This is what that says. That button looks like the inside the sword. Might as well investigate the inside. Finish all the rooms next to it, and then I'll go work on the real room. These flyers are moved though. There's a lot of stickers with the venue's logo placed here. Looks like they made a bunch of them and had too many. Feels somewhat... Compared to last time, feels like there are less stickers than before. Am I overthinking this? This carpeting wallpaper and painting in the shop is probably used for stage shows. Mm -hmm. There's a thick uh, black paper that's folded up on the lower shelf. It looks like wallpaper. There are lots of stickers posted all over the front of this uh, wallpaper. In the edge of the wallpaper. Looks like a little torn, but what's that? Mean? I'm not getting any clues though. So probably nothing here. They don't look like they pretend to the case. Nothing on the mirror. You see your whole body, probably. Uh... Oh, yeah, what's up? Nagido, okay, do you come here to investigate the storage room too? <laughs> Just wanted to confirm what you were thinking. Is that it? Or is he trying to stay in the garden? Mm. So about it. Did you find any clues? The tripped over stepladder on the stage, the duct tape, high up binding, the open. That probably can't all came from the storage room. There might be other things in the storage room that they used for the crime. Always pretend to give me hints, but in the end, you're really just going to be on the killer's side, right? <laughs> well, I'm not 
deciding what to do, you know? I'm just on the side whoever acts in the name of hope. That's all there is. Mm -hmm. That's the main reason why this case is really special. Uh, I can't say for certain, though. What's this guy saying? It's usually not making sense. I guess there's everything important inside the story. I guess I should go back and do something. I need to make sure that's everything. I don't trust him just to his brother. He could be fucking lying. Nope, happened once again. Two of my church friends died at the same time. I cannot believe it. <laughs> this is the place where Ibuki sang for Fuyuhiko. Kyoko looked like she was having so much fun listening to her. <laughs> now those two are no longer here. It's such a horrible tragedy. I understand how you feel, but please get a hold of yourself. Two of our friends were killed. That's all the more reason why we can't just leave this alone, right? Yeah, hurry. Let's do this thing. For the sake of the two who have fallen. <laughs> I noticed sooner Ibuki might have been safe. Hey, when did you realize Ibuki was missing? After leaving Nagito's room, I went to the on-call room and that's when I came to me. I should go on and check on how everyone in the hospital is doing. One more time before I get to sleep. And so I went to the patient rooms and noticed that Ibuki was gone. So I quickly ran out of the hospital. That's what... So that's what happened. <laughs> that's so he keep going from the hospital, so I asked him if he could help me look for Ibuki. <laughs> that reminds me. Where were you? I thought you were resting in the lobby. That is a long story. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not like I doubt you or anything. <laughs> There's no way I doubt you. Because we've been together since this morning. Right. We were together until we went on the on went to the on call. <laughs> That's right. We were together one, uh, until just a little before the morning on a Kuma announcement. So I don't doubt you. So I don't doubt. So I don't doubt you. I'm telling the truth. So. Is it alright if I continue with my autopsy? If you talk to me again later, I'll tell you what I know. So please spare my life. Jesus Christ. I'm doubting you. Uh, what happened to not doubting you? Gundam, you're next. <laughs> Even I'm all horrified of my power, the evil or I am the over. Do I expect any different? No. Shinra Banshu, Sanzen Sekai no Koto Gotoku. That an apparent thing. Pitiful humans, they refuse to lift their heads up for up for fear of doubting the authenticity. Authenticity of the blue sky. Lift my head up. Does he mean that there's something up there? Oh, yeah, there's fucking recessed lighting. What do you want to fucking know about it, dude? Hey, are you okay? I'm still not feeling well. Mm. Yeah, I don't really get it, but. When I think about Nekumaro, it's like my knees start shaking. Oh, Where There's no way I get, I've got that kind of weakness. Happens when you love somebody. I'd probably go away if I ba ba battle the strong dude, but Nekumaru's not here. Nekumaru will definitely come back. You're, you're right. God, they totally need to fucking get together. Come on. I mean, there's no way they're not together, right? I mean, seriously. I'm not gonna fucking butt in on that. Hajime, this might be impudent of me to ask, but we listen to what I have to say. I heard that you witnessed the incident from the very beginning, right? So what? <laughs> Provide me the summary of the incident. I need to reach the truth behind this incident. For the sake of the dead, dedicating my body to anything greater than No. <laughs> yeah. What? Don't make me repeat myself. No. This guy just wants to confuse us. There's no way I'm going to tell him what he wants. So nimble. This is disappointing. Fuck off. Ugh! Oh. Hey, Ajime, look at this. What? Huh? Look what's in front of the door. This is a drumstick, right? It looks like a broken What happened to you? Something like this, uh, that is in front of the door. <laughs> you, know, you think it might really be a big clue? How could this be a clue? I don't know. Remember when we came to the music? 
world open. The only thing we can do is force our way through. Yeah. So that was, uh, blocking the door. The door was locked when we tried to get inside. The door was the door. <laughs> when I examined the door, I found out the door doesn't have a lock at all. The door is designed to be pushed open, and this is the shape of the handle. If a stick was used to bar the door here, <laughs> well, don't you think it would lock the door from opening? I mean, you think the drum drumstick was used to lock the door? <laughs> Broken drumstick on the floor in front of the door should be proof of that. Now was the killer able to get out? Huh? Fucking clo- Oh, god damn it! No! Oh, I've been slow in closed rooms this entire fucking time. Oh, god damn it, no! No! It always comes back! I mean, the music for any doesn't have windows, this door is the only entrance. If they lock the door from the inside, the killer won't be able to escape outside. Goddamn locked door is closed room! Suga! The killer was still inside when we broke the door to the music venue. No! No! Ugh! And they waited until we were already at the scene to try to join us. Not you know, they, don't they use tricks like that in a lot of mystery dramas and stuff? <laughs> if that's the case, there might be evidence of that around here somewhere. So Alright, I'm definitely gonna find it. I won't let the killer get away with this. The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music. Like you said, that might be possible. <laughs> I heard we two were discussing. Shocky, that was kind of, was kind of cool like this. That's <laughs> Besides the broken drumstick, I've also discovered something interesting. What is it? There's some kind of weird glob right where the right and left door touch, see? You're right, what is this? It looks confirmed to, uh, to think of rubber. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't look like rubber, but... As she said that, if she had to bend down and scrape up the... Mm. Mm. Oh my god, you did not just fucking eat that. Why are you putting it in your mouth? Mm. might be a glob now, but that doesn't mean it was a glob from the beginning. For instance, it was originally a liquid that hardened it. might be impossible possible to apply directly and smoothly into the gaps in the door. What are you talking about? It's fucking glue. <laughs> Just as I thought, it tastes nasty. Jackie spat the glob out of her mouth and left the area. Besides that bit about the taste, it's okay to consider that it's uh, some kind of glue, right? Semi-transparent glue. You're gonna just fucking spit that on the ground? How about you spit it into a trash? Come on. Here, Shiaki. With her arms crossed and a thoughtful look on her face, Shiaki was silently staring at the stage floor. Did something drop on the floor? Mm. There. Nothing dropped, it's just dirty. Dirty? No, no. See if you could close like a thing. Still If you look closely. You're right, there's a smudge as if something was wiped off. Wait, that isn't something. Is that a blood stain? Yes. Mm. Well, blood stain isn't strange. Hyokyo's neck was slashed not far from him. Mm. Rather, what is strange is why did the killer try to hide it? I didn't know. Mm. So. They hadn't tried. If they were trying, weren't trying to hide it, they would have not bothered wiping it off. The reason the killer wiped off the blood stain, oh, I thought she meant like putting something around the back. As long as the body is nearby, there's no way they'd be able to conceal the crime by wiping out the blood stain. As long as the killer trying to hide. Delayed finding the body. There's a massive candle positioned near the front of the stage. The dull light in the video must have been coming from the stage. The candle this huge must be perfect for lighting, but they didn't need to bother using the candle because it's using the candle. Kabuki uh, had a hemp bag on her head and was hanging from the ceiling. Why'd she have to have a hemp bag on her Wait, huh? That hemp bag, upon further inspection, there's a monomy decal on the front. Looks like this isn't just a normal bag. Yep. Not that, uh, theater. Isn't that rope that was tied to the baton lighting on the ceiling? Kabuki hanged herself with that rope and died. Hmm. I can tell it looks like a regular length of rope with no unnatural features. But despite the fact this music venue has a storage room, there shouldn't have been any rope in there. 
which means it was obtained from the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. The floor bring it from here. That means anybody could have obtained this rope. And it means it would be difficult for uh, to use this. <laughs> I wonder if that's true. Hmm? Oh, I just noticed a little something. Is it okay if I confirm it? Why? Excuse me, Mekon, do you have a moment? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> There's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hanged by this rope, right? <laughs> yes, she has no other external injuries, so there's no doubt she died from a hanging or something. Oh, what? I see, I see. So Ibuki died by hanging or something. That was obvious the moment we discovered the body. Oh! I think I know what he's getting at. That she didn't technically die by it via, via hanging. That she was, like, strangled and then placed on said rope. You might not have seen it, but we all saw that she was hanging. So <laughs> You're right. Yep, I got it. So this row uh, won't be much of a clue. I might as well research another place. Rope use for hanging. Step ladder has blood on it. That means Kyoko's death happened first. Because she wouldn't have any blood on it. The step ladder is just over on it. So. This must be the step ladder that Ibuki used in the video. Just the video cut out here. And you can't see actually you can't see Ibuki's hair actually. So that might not actually be seen in Ibuki. The body could have been cut up there later. God damn it, I don't remember what their initial scene was, but I think it was Damn it. Oh. I don't think that is Ibuki though. Thing. There's blood around the left side of the step ladder. As I recall, Ibuki didn't have any external injuries if that's the case. It must be Yoko's blood. That's the only thing I can think of. The blood stain that probably belongs to Yoko is on the left side of the ladder. What does it mean? And the left side of the ladder was facing the uh, camera, and there was no blood on it. That is not Ibuki, that was on the ladder. That video was on delay. Or recorded previously. The Buki's body lay atop the stage. She's wearing the hospital gown she was wearing when she was sick. What's this on a Buki's feet? Oh, she's dead. Oh, that was definitely fake then. I didn't notice when she was hanging, but the soul's were feet of her. It's blood, right? There shouldn't be any external injuries on a Buki if that's the case. This blood belongs to someone else. Blood on the soul. Uh. Hey, Hajime, can I talk to you for a sec? You already discovered the body because before you met up with us, right? Yeah, at first I didn't know it was a Buki because that had back. Oh, thank you. Okay, a boot. At that point, a Buki was already up there. But I knew right away she was dead as uh, she was hanging from the rope. Uh, I don't see any blood on that, though. Yeah. But it could just be the ankle attack. Because it could be on the other side of it, or like the horizontal edge of it. Interesting, interesting. Tsuga. That means Ibuki must have died before Hyoko was tied up. Yeah. It helps, there's no time of death, ri death written on the Monokuma file. So that's why, because Ibuki died afterwards. There are using this to confuse the time of death. For what reason, I don't know. Unless they convinced Hi uh, Ibuki to kill Kyoko and then hang herself, which is fucked up. But since she's super gold, that's what she did. I'm thinking that's what happened right now. So I wasn't really sure who died first. It's true, their estimated time of death wasn't written in the month. But I should know when Ibuki died because of her sense of in that video, Boogie was climbing the step ladder on her own, so right after that, it could have been Kazuichi, because he'd know how to put a video on loop. Huh. And he didn't respond first as well to the uh, call. He was uh, came in with the group with uh, Monami and Monica. Was interesting. Uh, my initial impression is that it's going to be uh, Kazuichi first, then. He's guilty. So the only time will tell. Wait, hold on. So Buki, Buki climbed that step ladder and died right after that. Does that mean she committed suicide? No, that's impossible. 
possible. Because even if Abuki committed suicide, it doesn't explain Yoko's death afterwards. Two different deaths happened at the same time. There's no way that's a coincidence. There's a black ha curtain hanging at the far side of the stage. This curtain is not wide enough, but you can't reach the, from one end to enter the stage with the other. What is it? It's not really cool, like, the curtain. This curtain wasn't originally here, right? If it was, if it was, then it's strange that it doesn't do it properly. Mm. It's probably a tiny from the furniture section of the supermarket. Rocket block. See, the black curtain is taped over for temporary use, just like the curtain at the supermarket. <laughs> So you're saying someone took the time to actually bring that curtain from the supermarket? If they went that far, that was probably something that people really needed for this crime. Why did they need it? Who What shouldn't be a mystery if the answer's the music? It's behind it. Music curtain, then you need it. Looks like the music then use AC. That's right, you must adjust the hot air and use it. Alright, I should mess around with the words. It's running as a heater over 86 degrees Fahrenheit? Now I know why it's so damn hot. Better turn off the heater for now, that should cool things off a little bit. That's the confused time of death. That's why it's there for. To confuse the autopsy report that, uh. There's a control panel on the wing of the stage. It seems like we can use the control panel to raise and lower the baton lighting. The baton lighting on the ceiling. In fact, we use this to lower the boost of the body. Speaking of the lighting, the video and the music is the cur the curtains are different as well. The curtains are different. They had to hang. They had to have enough time to hang curtains. A stage curtain. There we go. This is a video on repeat and soda uh, Kazuichi's. It had a dim candle light off the to it, and it didn't look like the lighting was used at all. And why didn't they use the light this lighting? There's some reason they would have been inconvenient. Because it would have been really took obvious. Up. Ah, for the green. I see, so you noticed it too, friend. Fiend. Huh? Notice. So you didn't notice. Are those eyes just a little glass ball? Take a good look at the baton lighting above your head. Have you not noticed the apparent item? Mad? It's something that looks like black paper stuck into the lighting. <laughs> so you finally noticed. Yeah, but I can't I can't really see it from here. I should lower the baton light lighting one more time. Yes. There is no need. <laughs> Jumpy, now is the time for you to take flight. Feast your eyes upon the brave source of my four Dark Davis of destruction. The hamster launched itself from Gundam's hand and ran up the baton light into the ceiling of the clock. Start running around the stuck slip of paper in rapid circles. And then the paper fluttered downward and it was definitely caught by Gundam. <laughs> Did you see that? Behold the power of the ultimate evil eye wielder. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. I've never seen a hamster do tricks. They're my fourth Doc Davids of destruction. Hamsters are merely their temporary form. So, what's with that paper? Yokaro. It seems to be some uh, kind of thick paper. Though it does not have any special spells inscribed into it. No score. It appears it's nothing useful. No, that's not it. There's no doubt this has some kind of clue. I mean, the fact that it's stuck in a place like that, no matter how we think about it, is unnatural. Scrap of thick paper has been added to the board to board section. Check out her body. Yuka's body is suspended against the pillar on the side of the stage. She's wrapped against the pillar with duct tape, and she looks like she was forced to stand up. Damon, who did this? According to the Monokuma file, her cause of death was a suicide. Her neck looks like it's stopped bleeding, and probably because of the duct tape wrapped around her. But why is Yuka's kimono like this? Her kimono is all disheveled, and her, also her sash is tied in the front. Did the killer do this too? But when did the killer kill the other? After I first discovered Ibuki's body, I didn't see Hyoko's body there. If that's the case, Hyoko was killed. 
It must have been during the time I was getting everyone before I came back. Well, that was barely 10 minutes. Is it really possible that the kill order killed Yoko and take her up in such a short amount of time? They had to have the body prepared for sure. Even if it is possible, whoever did would have had a narrow window. Because the killer must uh, be someone who doesn't have any alibi during the time, right? Oi! Hajime, do you have a minute? No, you're in the way. <laughs> I don't want you to wish to be in your way, but there's something I really need to help you. Help. Closely, there's an unnatural shape bulging from inside the cave that you feel this moment. So I think she might be hiding something. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me you want to search inside the cave. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it. It would have been a problem if she were alive, but she's dead now. You know. Mess with me. Are you saying there's no problem with that now that she's dead? Not as big of a problem. <laughs> if you don't want to do it, I'll just have to ask someone else. Why? Hey, Akane. Oh. Hey, what's up? Mm. Well, there's something I wanted you to do for me. Looks like there's something inside Hima Hyoko's kimono, so can you feel around for that? Huh? I don't really understand, but I just gotta check Hyoko's kimono, right? Thank you, Akane. Helping each other is such a wonderful thing. Let's see. Akane reached through the duct tape finding Hyoko when she stuck her inside the kimono. Damn it, she's tied up so tight I can't really reach with my hand. Hold on. Oh. There's something. Is this what you're looking for? Is this a key? <laughs> it's different than the keys to the cottage, so there might be a key to her motel room. A key to her motel room. <laughs> her key was so deep inside the moment that it'd be hard to remove. It's very unnat unlikely that the killer tampered with this evidence. So <laughs> Because if this is a trap, they would have put it more forward toward the floor where front of her kimono so we'd notice it easily. Which means we can conclude that this is something Kyoko had with her all along. Yeah, I would have definitely took, taken that. Mm. Also, it's not like I'm adding to that or anything. But you look like you were curious about the condition of Kyoko's body, right, Hachi? Of course, that's one. Mm. It's true, there are several mysteries regarding her body. Mm. Which is, hear me out for a second. Out of all these mysteries, what I think is the strangest is. Mm. The way they wrapped her body with that duct tape. It's almost like they were trying to hide the wound on Kyoko's neck. Hide the wound on her neck? Yeah, definitely. That stuck out to me immediately. <laughs> I don't know if the, what that was their true intention. But I guess it's a big help for our investigation. The reason for the low vo volume of blood is because the duct tape is acting as a conference, right? <laughs> if her body was left alone after her throat was slit, the surrounding area would be a sea of blood. God, that thing would have sprayed everywhere. Sea of blood, huh? Two bodies floating in a sea of blood. Uh, I get it. Uh, yeah. By the way, Hajime, I still don't quite understand the details of what happened. Hey, if you can explain to me in detail, I think I'd be able to give you more useful information. Really? You might end up confusing us, confusing us again instead. You don't want to help find the truth, you just want to make it suffer. He <laughs> don't you? I mean this because I believe it's for everybody's sake. For the sake of everybody's hope, I'd gladly become the enemy and I won't even mind when I die. That's the main reason why I can't help you this case is not. Regardless, I guess we're not, you're not going to tell me, huh? They can't be helped, because so I'll rely on my gut feelings. Mm. You can buy later too. I'll go there first and wait. Where are exactly talking? <laughs> well, obviously the movie theater. After he said that, Nagito walked out of my sight. Movie theater. Why the sudden interest in the movie theater? Strange. The shattered remains of the machine are spread all over the floor. ほれも因果率の定めか。ほれも因果率の定めか。ほれも因果率の定めか。ほれも因果率の定めか。ほれも因果率の定めか。ほれも因果率の定めか。ほれも因果率の定めか。ほれも因果率の定めか。ほれも
Alright, with this, we might be close to finish the investigation. We might be close to finishing the finish investigation. Oh. But I still need to talk to Mikan. I need to make sure I get those awesome results. How oh, about it, Mikan? Have you found anything in by now? Sorry, the truth has been very intense. It's not my fault the music venue was just too hot. Because the heat, I can't estimate the time I died. Because the heat is that awesome. Oh, yeah. If your body is overexposed to heat or cold, you won't be able to determine a precise time of death. I see, that might, might have been the killer's goal. They covered up their time of death by using the heater to make the inside of this venue hot. That's weird. What the heat is the killer's doing? Is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? The only reason it would be covered up is because Yoko was murdered first. That's the only reason why. I agree, as long as I saw it, it should be clear what order the murder occurred. First was opposed to the As long as this is an imitation murder, there shouldn't be any mistake in the order of the murder. Imitation murder. What is it? You don't know what Hajime? Not everyone already knew. What a It's a murder where the killer uses a creative work like a song or a film as an outline for their killing. It's so common in detective novels, mangas, and video games that you start to get annoyed by it. How would an imitation murder be related to this murder? <laughs> well, based on the killing order and the way they were killed, it's clearly an imitation of that movie. The, the assumption is an in Im imitation murder is the reason why the killer killed two people. Ooh. It was, a, was an imitation killer. Even so, why did they feel the need to do something like that? Excuse me, but it's really an imitation of that movie. Then is it possible that one more person might have been killed? This the killer wishes to complete the, complete the imitation. I have no fucking idea what this is. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? An imitation murder. One more person might have to be killed. Are you guys worried that there's going to be another victim? And no worries. Things should get would get out of hand too fast if a bunch of people could be killed at once. I'm a real cautious fella, so I've prepared a perfect countermeasure. Yay! On this cool killing trip, the same black end can only kill a maximum of two people. What is it? Hurry at it. You got it in another room. Boom! Well, if killing someone, everyone at once is okay, the black end would be able to secure an easy victory, right? Yeah. This new oh, rule oh, oh. will prevent that. Make sure you slam it into your tiny brain. I know. It's a maximum of two people, but there will not be any more killing. Thank you. Since you're already here, can I ask you one more thing? You know, I just want to confirm one of the class trials. I see, I see. It's expected of you. You're very strict about games. I don't consider this a possibility at all, but I don't even want to get someone to do this. Cases occur at once. What happens if there are two killers? Oh, thank you. That's what I. Uh, that's what I. Do. Huh? Dokoro so. Like I said, I'm talking about the possibility that Ibuki and Hyoka were killed by two different people. That would mean that the two killers exist at the same time. But can we only vote for one person, right? You already must have been. Choose one based on the majority vote. The other person would achieve certain. Uh, certainly achieve it. Boom. Yeah, you're right. What up? What happens in that case? We probably vote on them separately. What about a case where there's three instances involving two people? Or four instances overlap one another? Shut up! Shut up! Okay, I'll make you extra sure something like that never happened. Yeah. Meaning two killers can exist at the same time, so it's safe to say that applies to this case too, right? Yeah, that's right. Alright, fine, fine, that's right. There's always one killer at any given time. Even if they had enough compass, I'd have, I'd have you figure out who the mastermind is. He made me say it. Gamer brains are not to be underestimated. I should just shut up and go back to my cave. I see, so there's no possibility for two killers to exist at the same moment of time. With this, I guess that narrows down things down a little. If it makes things a little easier. Yo, Karo! Plus, if the same killer can kill a maximum of two people. It means a third victim would be impossible. Imitation murder breaker. You guys keep saying that it's too strange to name. What do you guys mean by imitation? Uh, no. You haven't seen it. You've seen it, seriously. Seen what? So. You said that movie. Uh, no. When we first explored the island, Monokuma was passing our invitation ticket. Uh, then the imitation is... Of course, it is an imitation of that movie. Oh, I'm literally the only person. Well, based on the murders at this time, it closely resembles that movie as if they were copied. 
as if they copied the movie. See, now you don't mention that. Still, it's not too late, I think. It's probably a good idea if you watch that movie before the class comes. So looks like I need to do that. Where should you going to? Where are the places I want to investigate? Ano? Did you mention to go next? Yeah. Mm. See you. Did you really think you could hide your presence like that? I wasn't trying to hide in the first place. Hey, which room was Hioka staying? Tok Tok Open the door to the settle room. <laughs> Make sure you pray to whatever god you hold dear, and you might want to bring an extra pair of arms. Something happened? No, it is just. I'm starting to believe it might be my fault. Her fault? What does she mean? God damn it, Sonia! No, you can't die here. Ano? The moment Kyoko came to this motel, she completely shut herself in this room. She's afraid of the despair and despair disease, so she was cautious of you guys too, right? This is God. However, fear of the disease was not the only reason she lost herself in her room. She had another reason. Besides that disease, what other reason would make her lock herself in her room? Chito. Oh, no. Yeah, yesterday I went to go talk to her. Since she had been in her room for some time, I told her it might be good for her to go outside for a bit. She got the door to her room locked, but by coincidence it was not locked at that time. And then I saw it. Eto. Yoko was crying and struggling with her kimono sash. She did not want to smell bad, so she took a shower, but she could not tie her sash anymore. My hero was no longer with us, so I believe she was having trouble with it. She didn't leave her room because she couldn't tie her kimono, huh? Dashikani. The others might have thought it was just a little silly sash, but it must have been a serious issue for her. Eto. Hyoko told me that she learned how to tie her sash from my hero, and my hero kindly taught her the basics. That's why she wanted to be able to tie her sash on her own. Eto. She probably couldn't forgive herself for not being able to do it, especially since my hero taught her. Watakushi wa... I, I could not really understand her feelings, which is why I said what I did. What did you say? さ、さよんじさん。Oh my god, she's not, there's no way she's fucking blaming herself over that. So she's still tied her mom, but still. それに、あまりお部屋にこもっているのもお体によくありませんし。あの。That's when she kicked me out. まさか Maybe Hyoko remembered that. Are you saying she went to the music venue to wear a kimono? See that happening. Hyoka locked her room and made sure she put the room key inside her kimono. Can't imagine that she was abducted by someone. If so, that's weird. Hey, did you tell her anyone about that before the incident, or was someone listening in your conversation? I never told this to anyone, and I do not believe anyone was listening in our conversation. No 
put in here. Best the case, I don't think he'll know Hyoko was going to the music festival. She walked in on him. That's what it is. Or at least she walked in on the filming of that before they hung up the black curtain. And they ended up killing her. Ooh. The green curtains have blood all over it. I guarantee it. That's why they had to hang up that curtain. Because without it, it would be blatantly obvious that there's a bunch of fucking blood on there. And since, you know, Yoko died. So they filmed it first, probably once they finished, or the, the, yeah, the killer, finished filming it, and then when they were probably getting out, that's when Hyoko noticed it and been like, what the fuck are you doing? And that's when they killed Hyoko. Blood got on the wall, on the uh, curtain. They ended up getting a curtain from the supermarket, putting it up there, doing something with their body, hiding it somewhere. And then in the 10 minutes, they strung her up real quick. But she was already dead, so it didn't matter. Something's wrong. Thank you, Sonia. Anything else here? That isn't messed up. It doesn't look like she was abducted in her sleep. There's a mirror, but it's so small and rusty. Oh, there's a Monica by there. There's no way anyone can use this. I don't see anything else. I feel like I couldn't really find any important clues in the When we went back to the music venue, the entrance door wouldn't open. So go. The other choice had to break down the door and discover the other's body was suddenly there too. And what happened? I don't know. That's the most important part. When we arrived at the motel, we lost saw you besides Kiyan. Not as I recall, I've gone down and mom. Besides Kiyaki, I also saw Gondam and Mom. So Kazuichi and Sony didn't appear. Do you think those two are suspicious? So Kyoko was killed. Between the time you saw Hibuki's body and when we broke down the door, right? So obviously those two are most suspicious since they weren't with us. That might be it, but... Ora. While we're at it, let me tell you my alibi too. When the morning of Monokuma announcement woke me up, I went straight to the hospital. I saw Megan panicking in front of the hospital. I asked her what's going on, and she said Ibuki disappeared. So you guys split up and looked for Ibuki, huh? Man. We were circling the alley, and we came to the motel and saw you guys there. Did you see anyone else while you circled the alley? Yeah. No, we went to the movie theater and the street full of machines to look for Ibuki, but we didn't see anyone. <laughs> Are you implying I don't have an alibi because I didn't run into anyone? It's unreasonable for you to doubt me. The time that Mikan and I were on our own looking for Ibuki wasn't very long. <laughs> In the short time, there's no way I could have killed Yoko and wrapped her around the pillow with duct tape. It's true, I felt like there wasn't enough time to do that after I left the music group. But the fact that Yoko was killed and we did discover her body... Huh? What? Do you still doubt me? Taku yo! Oh, I'm used to it. It's true, I've done things that don't... Uh, that I deserve to be doubted. <laughs> so don't worry, even if you, uh, you do doubt me, I don't plan on dismembering you and encasing you in concrete. I don't. I'd want to know in advance what I'd have to do to end up with that. Thanks, Mika. Now, time to go to the hospital. 